Not long ago, you saw us open from Critical Eats Japan, a McDonald's bag, and a McDonald's fry seasoning from Japan. Hi, I live in Japan and I run a YouTube channel called Critical Eats Japan where I mainly showcase Japanese burgers and interesting snacks. It's a seasoning pack from McDonald's. Sweet! Oh, thank you so much. So that's like the fry seasoning they use in Japan. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. You remember that song? So we're headed to an American McDonald's because we live in America. And that's obvious. We're gonna add the seasoning to the fries. You're missing the best part. Japanese Ooh. McDonald's double cheeseburger flavored french fries. They're double cheeseburger flavored. You like that? Oh, I like that. I already forgot and I'm now- You're an idiot. Doubly excited. You're an idiot. I wonder if how close they take to taste the double cheeseburgers. We'll find out. Let's go there. See us soon, McDonald's. Two McDoubles and two medium fries, please. Thank, thank, thank you. Two medium fries for McDonald's. And a McDoubles. And two McDoubles. We're gonna do a little taste test. Gotta have a level playing field. Gotta know what they taste like before. You know, the palate. Acquired, Corey's parking, jump cut! <laughs> Nut shot, piping hot McDonald's French fries. Piping hot. You look like the type of guy, even though we're pouring this all in the same bag, that gets. Yeah! The bag fries. Bag fries, you know I like that. You like that? Oh, I like that. Oh, give me my fries, you Sorry, f did I ruin it? Don't, this is my tray, so if it's your fries, then keep them off my tray, thank you. So I hand them to you when you ask? I'm my fries, I wanted my fries. Listen to directions, you idiot. When did mine go in that bag? What's that? When you pour them in there, but it doesn't mean you put it on the tray, all right? My tray, my rules. Sorry, Dad, I mean, Corey. Damn it! Sometimes you gotta keep them in check, you know? Fries. We actually got a Japanese bag, too. Um, it, I guess. Does it, it say anything in Japanese on it? I don't it? think so. Does it say anything in English? But he mailed us this. Yeah, it does. Do you know how to say any words in Japanese? I know two words easily. California roll. Is that a joke? Nailed it. <laughs> now hold on, you're gonna pour, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this first. Because I wanna also be able to do a little fries, regular fries versus, you know? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but I need to do the same thing. All right, so we got our little. Show them a close up of this packet. Yeah. What's it say on it? Does it say California um, roll? Okay. It does say burger it in says English. Burger, burger. It says beef. Double beef cheeseburger. Uh, Cor Sean Corey from Kirk Leach, Japan. No, it doesn't. Ba -da 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 -da. He's a liar. Don't listen to him. He's a liar. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Little dump. Oh, it's the coloring is I don't know. Is it orange? Is it liquefied double cheeseburger? <laughs> and then powderized? Ooh, it smells like what I put on ramen stuff, like the ramen flavor oh, packet. Oh yeah. Of. All right. It I does. Wow. I wish you guys had smell vision. Smell a vision. Elon Musk will figure that out after he's done blowing rockets into the air. Making flamethrowers. I should have brought a couple maracas, even though that's not Japanese culture, but I. What are we doing? I wanted to see. I got long. bored. <laughs> Hi, Corey. I'm your new co-host, Mr. Cup. I feel like your goal might be sometimes to see how much you can make me hate you. As You're just figuring that out? It's an aggressive amount of hate. I know Sean's not here, but can I still say jump cup? See what I did there? Yeah, you got less funny. You're not funny and nobody likes you. There's that for you. All right, so now I got some regular fries, I got some double chi. Get in the I lens. Got some double chi fries. Get, see that? Sweet, sweet shot. I'm shot, changing bro. cinematography for the better. Sick shot. Shout out to uh, all our fans in J Japan. And Critical Eats. And Critical Eats Japan himself. Today's flavor is cheeseburger flavor. Yeah. yeah. So they've got new cheeseburgers and cheeseburger. Flavored seasoning, for the seasoning, yeah. Thanks for sending that. That's dope. All right, these are double cheeseburger seasoned Japanese, Japanese McDonald's, McDonald's fries. fries. We agreed nice, on something. Nice. Cheers. Okay. Whoa. That's interesting. Yeah. I can see a little double cheeseburger flavor now. 
Let's go with regular. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now, let me do a little. That's so great. So in Japan, they don't just have the regular, or they have mm. regular. These are just like a little specialty. I, I think so. I don't, I don't think all fries are. I've never been to Japan. These um, are supposed to taste like cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. Unlike anything I've ever had. Yeah, they're interesting. Seasoning wise. They do kind of taste like a double, like a McDouble. There's like some sort of cheese hint in there that gives you. There might be some like beef extract or something. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting the pickle, the onions. Not bad, but I mean, I'm still mass eating them like a fat ass. Yeah. I'm shoving them in my mouth. Look at them, I'm taking five or six. Oh, what a cultural experience this is. I do think they do taste closer to the burger than they do to the normal fry. Like when I eat that, and then that, and I eat this, and then this. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more. Like this tastes less like a regular fry, more like a cheeseburger. So if you put a bunch of these double cheeseburger fries onto this double cheeseburger, that'd be like a quadruple cheeseburger. I think so. I feel like they're good though. I really like them. I like I think, I think I do. Yeah. You know I don't like? Being in the car with me. I am a fat kid. Mm hmm Man, they're really good, dude. Quick Patreon shout out to a couple of friends of ours. Mm -hmm. Awesome dudes that we got to meet. It's Raining Babies. Super yeah. cool channel. If you haven't checked it out, we met up with them at the Fobab event, and they're just like, we're going to hang out with them again. Also, shout out to Jared K.O. Just an awesome name. Sounds like a superhero. Jared K.O. Just yeah. you know, Or a UFC fighter. Right. And Kevin Salmon. You got a fish for your last name, I think I love you. Salmon Rusty? <laughs> the writer? There's Sidra. There's Salmon. Where? Talking to that woman. Talking to Sidra? If that's Sidra, she's talking to Salmon. I don't think that's Salmon. <laughs> well, I don't think they're real. So what do we do? Do we rate these? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe not rate them instead just like what you're... Let's do something new I just randomly thought. Okay. You can shoot this idea down. I will. So you know how like this would be 100% yes and okay. this would be 100% no? Okay. On the count of three, you can pick anywhere in the percentage of turn. So this would be best, this would be worse, this would be 50%. And you find, you give them what you think out of that. Relative to like other... It's almost like an approval rating of them. Like relative to other... Uh... French fries or what? How about just overall satisfaction in eating them? Okay. If you're gonna give them a rotten tomato score. Okay, I've got you. You down with that? I'm in. One, two, three, ah! Boom. 50%? Yeah, dude, they were all right. They tasted kind of weird to me. Like, I went 75. I'm not really like, I mean, they're good to have like one or two of, but like, yeah. I don't really dig the aftertaste of them. It's just like, hmm. That is sort of an oaky afterbirth. Mm. I'd rather just have regular fries. They have a little bit of a sweetness right. to them on the back end, in my mind. Yeah, I can see that. That was kind of a, a fun little surprise. Right. I think they're really good. Obviously, that's crazy 75% you gave them like a psycho. And that's obvious. Critical Eat Japan, thank you so much for sending those. Dude, yeah, seriously, that was super cool, that dude. That's probably one of the coolest things we've gotten, and like that's why we instantly did it in a video, even though it probably comes out two weeks or so after, because we, yeah. our, our content calendar is insane. Go subscribe to him and become close to him, because maybe he'll send you some seasoning packets. Yeah, dude, you never know. It looks like a weird little, like, you want to try my hamburger dick? That's like a weird little condom, you know? Hi, Corey! Oh, God, here we go. I know you didn't like Mr. Cup! All right, if you're old, over the age of 15, you can tune out at this point. Just let all the little kids enjoy Sean's little bit here for a second. For now, uh, it's still uh, Mr. Back oh, until you close out this video. I wonder if this is how the Blues Clues guy felt. Wow. Can I say your catchphrase with you? No, f*** you, b Eat it, bitch, it's always good! Paul. <laughs> <laughs>Thank you guys for watching yet again another episode of Number Six with Cheese. We're here every single weekday. Support us on Patreon. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, Lock up one of our shirts. Yeah, get a shirt. Buy both of them. The next design is even dope. Is my favorite. Which we might have to hold off on that a little bit to save up a little cashola. But you guys wow. are going to be getting it at some point. Super sick. You know what I just? It has been on it. You know what I just thought of? What's that? We should have a club of people that have all three shirts. The people that have every uh, single shirt, they're in a specific, their own club. Like a tier. Yeah, that's like, if you have every single shirt of ours, there's gotta be like incentive and perks for that, cause that's right. like, you're riding with us. You know, Cindy Brown's yeah, on that list. Yeah, ride or die. Oh yeah, you know she is, dude, she's a boss. Yeah, people that's like that. That's a good that. call, man. That's yeah. a good call. There's a lot of people, but Cindy Brown supported me. Someone just ordered two. We Someone should come did. out with like a pin. Like after we release a third shirt, if you have all three, yeah. then we'll send you a little pin that says like sixth place. Si that, sixth place, which that's means we're, really for first us, place. that's first place. Yeah. You know, if you're not like sixth, you're last. We're gonna go work on those pins. <laughs> um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alcohol and food. Bye.